welcome to school of civil engineering this is the last part uh, second part of our building modeling i mean five five is to building but modeling that we have started in our last video and uh, before that we have already uploaded 26 video for basic to advanced uh, properties of estate pro and um, we have tried to cover every parts of building materials uh, to analysis and design so if you are new here, you can watch the previous video and let's start to design our building. That was our model. I mean that was our layout plan. So by using that plan, we have draw our node now I'll start I will use start pro and from here recent file I'll open our previous model and uh, this is uh, not available for you you have to go open project file and from the desired location you have to find out that so 5 history building design and model and design so here we have done that in our next video so we'll click on modeling and go here geometry so this is the last part of our model now we'll uh, make our foundation line so for that we have to identify which line are for foundation I mean um, our column line from here 1 2 3 4 5 that 5 and here 1 2 3 4 5 and also here 1 2 and that point that point and that point so first of all I will select that, that uh, 5 so from here press control and first of all click here North cursor then press control select that on that on that on that on and that on from here that point that point that point that point and that point from here that point that point and that point here that point that point just carefully select the point after that control C and control V and in Y direction in Y direction minus Y direction it will be in down foundation will be down from that level so it will be minus 6 feet I will consider our foundation depth of 6 feet so minus 6 feet then press ok so we have draw our line after that we'll join that will join that line so to jo to join that now we'll join our that column so from that point to that point that point to that point and that point to that point but we can join that easily suppose if we want to join that manually click here add beams then from that point to that point like that that point to that point like that so you have to do it manually for every point but sometimes it will be very difficult to identify which point will be connected with which point that's why we'll go click here I'll go undo 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 and undo so they have a good way to connect that two point by selecting all point when we'll select all point or suppose by click here view from minus z direction so, sorry click here node cursor and select only nodes here only node selected but we are seeing that if we go in 3d mode here every node have been selected but if we use here geometry connect beam along y axis so if we use that 
option connect beam along y axis then it will only collect connect the y axis node which are available in same line so click y okay here you are seeing that it's sub connected that beams sorry that's not which are in y direction but which are available not access here there has access node there have access node that have it connected so that is the good one so after that we'll give here foundation we'll use view from plus z select that node obviously have to uh, click a node cursor and go here support page and from support page then create fixed and as we have selected then click here assign close then we have assign our wall support if we go in 3d mode so we have assign our wall record support here now again we'll select the required node I mean in column column direction where I have column and we'll draw our story record story so we'll use here node cursor and we'll press control then we'll select that every node here we'll select every node that are connected I mean that are that is our column line and we have to carefully select that so we have selected our every every column line nodes and then we'll go here transitional repeat transitional repeat click here and from transitional repeat we have to select here number of a story first of all we'll select that y direction our direction is y direction and number of steps I mean how floor will be our building so it's 5 story building and our story height will be 10 feet our story height will be 10 feet and they have an option link steps if we click that the wall line will be connected with each other I mean all column will be drawn and if we didn't select that only it will draw only nodes so I will click here and press ok so you are seeing that our wall nodes have been connected here all have been connected now we'll go here in positive from positive z direction and we'll select sorry uh, we have to select here beam cursor and we'll select all beams if we go in 3d mode we have selected all beams now will use transitional repeat for them so again go ahead transitional repeat it will be same as 5 and it will be 1010 and y direction and will not select link a step press ok then it's done So it's have been completed. Now 
we have done our model if we go in 3d mode so that is our model we have done already but at as it is a very thin wall building that's why I will use only two story or I can also done that for every story it's not fact so click here so as we have completed our model now we have to go for a important thing now we have to draw our slab but for slab we have to select that story so for that I will use here view from plus Z and only I will use that story or that that story and from here view view selected object only so I will go in isometric view so you are seeing that that's it in our first mount now we'll draw our plate cursor so to draw plate, plate cursor by using that plate cursor so click here and we'll draw plate on here for our slab so we have to select first point then last point then at this point at that point like that but sorry sorry uh, for that I have to go here view from y view from plus y so here view from plus y and by using that cursor we can draw our slab like that like that like that uh, first of all let's take sorry we can use that option add four node plates so first of all click here then click here then click here then click here it's done like that again click here click here click here and click here again click here click here click here and click here again click here sorry these are Esther, that's why there will, there will not be a plate. We have to use for not click here, click here, click here, and click here. After that, we have to select that full floor, that point, that point, that point, and that point again for that point that point that point and that point we have to do it carefully that point that point and that point again for that point that point here and here for that point that point similarly for every point we'll do that so that point that point that point and that point so 
we have done that for every point now if we go in 3d mode so here you are seeing that we have done it we have done it for our building now we'll go for again transitional repeat for every story and before that now we'll go for plate cursor here is the plate cursor click here plate cursor and then we'll press control and select all plate here 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 all plate after that right click and go here after right click go here generate plate mesh so click here and after that it will be same as default then press ok and from here type of mesh generating it will be quadrilateral meshing click here then ok it's meshing so it's mesh every point as required now we have to go for again we have to click here plate cursor then select wall and go to transitional repeat same it will be 5 story and it will be for 10 and it will be wide direction and th that will be untick then press ok it's doing for our 5 story so after that we'll see that ok it's done now we'll go here isometric view now you're seeing that that is for building and by clicking here view here so now we'll click here view selected object only press yes again click here view selected object only then previously we have hide something it will be here now we'll go in our rendering view now you're seeing that here is our rendering view for our model if we go here this is the rendering view for our model okay so we have done to model our building and in our next video I'll show you that how we'll define our materials properties and also another things for our story building story design so thank you thank you very much stl st connected till next video